from afar If you turn around and saw me and go When you might be kids, you won't come just for me Hi Leo, I'm back with another weekly reading And I've heard that song for you And it was by Central Sea And it's called Obsessed With You So, I'm going to shuffle on your energy I do feel like someone's following you, someone's stalking you, someone's completely obsessed with you. I don't feel it's in a good way either. I feel like it's like an over-obsession of you. So this could be someone you're dealing with now, that's what I'm hearing. Yeah, so we've got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And I definitely see someone following you in their car. They don't trust you, this person. They have um, trust issues, that's what I'm hearing. I'm also hearing commitment issues, so I feel like that could be you. Yeah, so I see them watching you. So you could be, you know, a roadman, I'm hearing a hustler. You're someone who sells drugs or, you know, you sell dodgy things on the road. That's what I'm hearing. This person's following you. This could be a love interest. That's what I'm hearing. Or even an ex-person. Yeah, I feel like you're still with this person. You're the guy who goes out to sell drugs and this person stays at home. I'm also hearing agoraphobic, so I feel like this person doesn't really come out the house as much as you do. You're always out and about, but they're always inside, that's what I'm seeing. This person is very suspicious of you and they keep following you. I also feel like they think you're offering your cup to somebody else. They might think that you're sleeping around instead of selling drugs. That's what I'm hearing. Or maybe you're sleeping with, you know, someone you're selling drugs to. That's what I'm hearing too. This is an over-obsession with the devil in reverse. This person feels like you have someone else in your energy, but I'm getting you don't. This person overthinks 24-7. That's what I'm hearing. They constantly feel like you're going to cheat on them. So they're watching you. They could be, you know, looking through your phone. They watch your social media too. They're constantly watching to see if you've got someone else in your energy. And you might have. That's what I'm hearing here too. But I don't think you do. I think it's this person's over-obsession of you. It's kind of turning toxic. I'm getting this person does love you, but they're too over the top, over protective, I'm hearing too. They're constantly spying on you to see if you've got someone else in your energy. But I see a tower moment coming in for you. Yeah, I feel like this person might find something or see something. Or maybe it's the fact that you're sick of being harassed, stalked and spied on all the time. And you're thinking about whether to let go of this person or you could have just let go of them. So there could be an ex, that's what I'm hearing. They don't feel like they've got as much money as you. They don't feel like, you know, that they compare to you. That's why they're obsessed, that's what I'm hearing too. They also feel like you could be giving money to other females or giving things to other females. This could be clothes, money, cars, I'm hearing too. I feel like this person waits for you to get down the road and then starts following you. They could even attach your phone, I'm seeing that too. Yeah, this person's watching you from afar. They want to see what you're up to. They're watching what you're doing. So you could hang out with your mates as well, your friends. And they're watching them too. That's what I'm hearing. 
They're seeing what you make and what you're doing. If it's the truth, you're telling them. This person feels like they're becoming enlightened about what you're doing. Maybe you didn't tell them you was a drug dealer because I heard in the song that you haven't got a nine till five. So you're someone who hustles on the street every day. And this person's just constantly, you know, putting you through a judgment kind of vibe. They're questioning you. They're asking you your whereabouts. They're following you. They're spying on you. That's what I'm hearing here. I feel like this person is quite, you know, you know, this might trigger you, but this person has some kind of mental illness where they're constantly thinking that you're cheating on them. They're constantly worrying about you having someone else in your energy. So they've become obsessed with you in an unhealthy, toxic way. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, I feel like, you love this girl and you would marry this girl but this girl has a lot of traumas that you know she she kind of puts onto you so she could be projecting her insecurities onto you but you're the type who would marry her you think she's beautiful you want to put her in a dress you want to you know you want to walk her down the aisle but she's constantly worrying that you're doing that for somebody else. That's what I'm hearing. So you could be engaged to this person and, you know, you're trying to save money for your wedding. This person thinks that you're sleeping out. That's what I'm hearing. I feel like you tell this person the truth. You, you know, you're constantly trying to reassure this person that, you know, you, you're only hustling, you're only trying to get that bag so that you two can, you know, flourish in life. That's what I'm hearing. But this person's constantly thinking that you have like a toxic female in your energy. So this could be an ex-person, someone you used to be with, someone who you had a family with in the past. I'm seeing that too. I also feel like, yeah, they feel like there's a karmic energy between you two. And, you know, they're doing some trickery to try and watch you and spy on you. That's what I'm hearing. I feel like this person wants a family with you, wants to marry you. This could be someone, like I said, you've recently let go of because of their obsession with you. You was having such a hard time just being yourself around this person because they're constantly questioning you, constantly, you know, nagging at you and trying to, you know, find out your business all the time. That's what I'm hearing too. And I feel like, yeah, this person stays at home so they don't make any money. Maybe you're the breadwinner you're the person who goes out to raise the money for the family so they're constantly worrying about you know what you're doing who you're selling to who you're speaking to you know they're worrying about everything this is an ex-person that's what i'm hearing you've let go of this person cannot get you off their you know their mind they're constantly following you even though you've let go of them that's what i'm hearing I feel like you had no choice but to let go of them because you had constant arguments. That's what I'm hearing. Every time you went online, this person was there arguing with you. Every time you leave the house, they're, you know, they're calling you to have an argument. This person's very insecure and they use arguments as a way of, to reassure themselves. It's, it's just turned very toxic. That's what I'm hearing too. Yeah, this was a good female. That's what I'm hearing here. Someone who's loyal, someone who's got your back, someone who's there for you. But this person's just turned completely toxic. That's what I'm hearing. They got they, they overthink too much, that's what I'm seeing. They don't see how you see them. They're just constantly living in their insecurities. 
Yeah, when you tell them you're going to work, this person feels like you're lying, that's what I'm hearing. They feel like you're not working on, you know, the two of you, like you should be. They feel like you, you're more interested in your, you know, friends or work or other things. So this person has created a lot of blockages in this relationship. They could have given you an ultimatum, I'm hearing too. Like, choose me or your drug dealing kind of life. That's what I'm hearing too. Me or the trap house. That's what I'm picking up. I also feel like this person's pregnant. This person's going to reveal that they're pregnant. That's what I'm hearing too. They're having a baby and that's probably why they keep stalking you. That's what I'm hearing. Like I said, this person's waiting for you to, you know, to open up your emotions. But I also feel like this person uses your emotions to, you know, to play on you, to, to you know, to wind you up. I'm hearing that too. So you could be an empath. That's what I'm hearing. You're someone who's very emotional and they use your emotions to, you know, to kind of torment you in a, a mad way it's like they've got quite a twisted mind that's what i'm hearing here they're constantly playing with your emotions that's what i'm hearing i feel like yeah you definitely separate from this person it's probably because you had to make that decision because your relationship was you know too toxic too argumentative and you know, this person is having a child now. So you know, you don't want to keep arguing with this person. That's what I'm seeing. You've kind of separated yourself from them. I feel like you're still together, but you know, you're not living together. So, you know, this person's following you and watching you more than ever now. That's what I'm picking up. Yeah, they think you're a player, but I'm getting you're not. You're not a player. You're just trying to get you back. You're just hustling. That's what I'm hearing. You're just making money on the roads. You're selling drugs. You're, you know, you're building whatever empire you're trying to build. And I feel like it's for this, this female who's completely obsessed. So she could be, you know, she could have been through a past, you know, bad relationship where she kind of still got that emotion in, in herself, inside of herself, and she kind of takes it out on you. That's what I'm hearing. I don't feel like you've been together for long either. You've been together for about a year or two. That's what I'm seeing as well. So it hasn't been a long time that you know, you've even been with this person. Yeah, you're you're the kind of person you dress well. You've got, you know, the latest designer. You're always looking out for, you know, the, the latest car or, you know, you like to look good and this person doesn't like that. This person not envies that they just think that other women are going to be attracted to you and that kind of you know that starts the fire in this person they just automatically see you looking good and they start to worry and they start to argue and they start to create problems that aren't even there just because of their insecurities that's what i'm hearing Yeah, so this person could be getting readings done on you to try and find out if you're cheating or if you're actually, you know, hustling. That's what I'm hearing. I don't feel like anything came back like that from the readers either. I feel like whatever they told this person was what you was actually doing. You're just selling drugs and you just 
you know, you're just trying to get that bag. This is earth energy. So I feel like, yeah, you just materialistic. You just want what you want. That's what I'm hearing. And you're trying to get it. I feel like you move everywhere. So you're all over the place. That's what I'm hearing. Not to mention you're online a lot. But I don't see you talking to people online. I see you just you know, browsing online, you might like people's pictures, so they watch you doing that, that's what I'm hearing. Yeah, this person could have Pisces in their chart, that's what I'm hearing, but I see water, and I do see, you know, you only have eyes for them, that's what I'm picking up, you're not watching other females like that. You're just trying to get your money up. You're trying to live your life. You're having fun. You know, you, you like to get wavy. I'm hearing that too. You're just enjoying your life and trying to grow. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, I feel like you didn't want to move away from this person. You didn't want to move out, but you had to. That's what I'm seeing because it was getting so toxic there's a lot of swords here there's a lot of arguments conflicts problems and you don't want your unborn child to be you know to be going through any of this that's what i'm seeing so this person you know they have so much mental conflict here and it's because they have so many blockages in their chakras they're you know, they don't know their self. They haven't done the inner work. Page of Swords in reverse. Like I said, they're constantly watching you, but they're not seeing anything. It's just turning really obsessive. They cannot stop following you, watching and stalking you, but they never get anything from that. They just constantly it's like they've become addicted to watching your every move but they never see you doing any wrong mm. i feel like this person's quite narcissistic with the king of swords they're trying to control you. They're trying to control your life, your growth, your, you know, whatever you're doing. That's what I'm hearing here. I'm hearing jealous. I'm hearing toxic. I'm hearing, you know, this person cannot stop following you whenever you're out. They're not far behind you. That's what I'm getting. It's like a detective kind of, you know following you, stalking you. They're overthinking 24 seven. Where is he? What's he doing? You know, I need to follow him. Let me check online if he's like to picture. Can I go and, you know, see if he's really gone to see his friends kind of thing. They're constantly overthinking whatever you're doing, wherever you go in. I feel like this person needs, you know, some kind of help, some kind of therapy because they're still stuck with burdens from an ex-person and they project their insecurities onto you. They're constantly following you, watching you to see if you're cheating, but you're not. You're working hard. You're stacking money. You're trying to get your bag. That's what I'm hearing. That it's an ex-person who placed these insecurities onto your person. So they're constantly insecure and they don't give you any space when you're with them. This is like really too much. That's what I'm hearing. Like I said, this person was traumatized in the past. So they have a lot of traumas, but they're projecting them onto you and onto your relationship. Yeah, they was heartbroken in the past by somebody else and they're constantly insecure with you. I also 
also feel like they do want you to marry them, but you feel like this person has too much issues, too many problems. You are stacking money to marry this person, but you know, their obsession has become too toxic, so you've kind of had to let go. They have so many blockages in their chakras, you know, they don't realise that's what I'm hearing. I feel like you ended things because of the toxicity. You was constantly being harassed, that's what I'm hearing. You couldn't be, you know, free spirit like you wanted to be. I also feel like this person's ex really hurt them. And you know, that's why they kind of hold on to you so tightly. They're, you know, they're mean and they just want you all to their self kind of thing. They don't want you out there selling drugs. They don't want you out there, you know, talking to women. They don't want you on your phone. You might have liked someone's picture. They're constantly, you know, harassing you. That's what I'm hearing. It's, you know, it's like you're being mollycoddled. I'm also hearing Munchausen syndrome. I did hear agoraphobia too, so I feel like this person doesn't really come out of their house. And you know, they're constantly telling you they've got a pain or, or they're sick when nothing is actually wrong with this person. It's like a hypochondriac. Someone who will keep telling you, oh, I've hurt myself so that you'll baby them and look after them. And they're constantly finding another illness or another issue where they need you to look after them again it's it's really turning toxic it's it's munchausen syndrome that's what i'm hearing this person is constantly using an illness and you know probably because they're pregnant they're like ah i had a pain and you know they're constantly getting you to come back that's what i'm seeing this person has a lot of like, you know, mental illness. That's what I'm hearing and they use it against you. I feel like you need this person to change and that's why you've separated yourself. It's like, you know, it's a bit like bipolar. It's like one minute they're happy and the next minute they just switch on you or the next minute they're claiming they're sick. Again, it's just constant, you know, cycles that you're in with this person. I mean, I do see love here, but I feel like it's too much. When someone's too much for you, you don't, you cannot breathe. You can't even be who you want to be or be who you are because they're constantly watching and you know, criticising you, that's what I'm hearing. And they're constantly sick, it's starting to weigh you down and really annoy you. They're actually pushing you away more than, you know, holding on to you too tightly. They're pushing you away. Yeah, so the King of Pentacles, I feel like, yeah, like I said, you're always out in your car making money. You want to build an empire with someone and you're thinking of your baby. That's all you can think about, your newborn child. You want to give it everything. You want to give it the world. You want it to have a happy home. This person feels like the whole world wants you and they need to protect you from the world, but it's not the case. It's just an over obsession with love that has turned real toxic. You are protected and that's probably why you walked away from this person. You could possibly be their twin flame and you know, you're going for a cycle with this person. That's what I'm hearing too. 
all I can see is work here and you're just constantly working, selling, you know, that that's what you're doing. And you know, I'm going to leave it there because I'm constantly repeating myself. So I hope this message helps you. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye guys.